You made me what I am You cooked me in a can And sewed it hard inside For this assignment, you are going to create a nature mandala. The three questions I want you to think about are what is a mandala, who is Andy Goldsworthy, and how can you find art in nature? Your assignment is to go outside, take a walk or in your backyard, find anything that's natural or natural objects, leaves, twigs, rocks, um, mulch, or anything that you can use to create a mandala. Before you guys go out and collect those items, let's go ahead and explore what a mandala is. Mandalas are all around us. We can create it our own or find it in nature. The word mandala is from the classical Indian language of Sanskrit translated to mean circle. Ever wonder how mandalas are made? One method that many monks would do is they would pour millions of grains of sand from traditional funnels and then the finished piece would be about five feet by five feet in size and it would take three to five days to complete it. Mandalas were created in service of one of the greatest religions, Buddhism. They were produced in Tibet, India, Nepal, China, Japan, Indonesia, and could date back to the 4th century until now. Once the monks are done designing their mandala, all the sand will be brushed away and mixed together. Then they either distribute the sand to the audience or blow them out to the sea. This here symbolizes the impermanence of all that exists on earth. Let's take a look at mandalas in India. Mandalas in India are typically drawn outside of the entrances of the homes. They are asking for blessing and protection and a lot of these are to welcome guests to their homes. Let's look at a few examples of mandalas in nature. This project is inspired by Andy Goatsworthy. Andy Goatsworthy is a British sculptor, photographer, and environmentalist. He produces sculptures and land art situated in natural settings. He not only works with nature, but in nature. So instead of building big constructions or out of land, he would use nature, arrange it in natural form so that enhances the beauty of nature. Goatsworthy often emphasizes that human beings are not separate from nature, but rather they are part of it. Let's watch a short clip of who he is as an artist. That moment where you're held there suspended is a very beautiful moment. Those are the moments that I, I, I strive for, struggle for in everything I do in one way or, or another. There's two different ways of looking at the world. You can walk on the path or you can walk through the hedge. And I think that's the beauty of art, that it just makes you step aside off the normal way of walking or looking. Good work is a moment of understanding and clarity in a very chaotic situation, like a shaft of light that just penetrates. And for a moment, it's very clear. And then it all becomes unclear again. Here are 
some inspirations or examples for your mandala. Alright, let's go ahead and start yours. Showed me what to eat, yeah, you gave me lots of friends. You showed me fire burns, you taught me tables turn, now I'm turning on the heat. You taught me how to run, yeah, oh. These are a few items that I found on my walk and around my garden. Um, I ask you guys to not cut your neighbor's flowers, just find whatever that's on the ground. Did 